You know, there are something liberals say that just make you shake your head in disbelief on how far PC they want to be. This guy is one of them. As you listen to this clip, you don't even know whether to laugh or cry. Anyways, listen to this idiot. The truly difficult work is looking deep within myself to recognize where my own reservoirs of whiteness reside and what value or burdens they present to me. Every time I review Peggy McIntosh's inventory of white privilege I learn something more about myself, and through attentiveness to my own experience, I think I could add a few more forms of racial privilege to a list. Frequently, I find myself examining my blind spots when a colleague of color expresses very different feelings about some experience we shared. This is fairly painless when it simply requires hearing about how they read between the lines of a presentation or caught a racist remark that sailed over my head. When the dissonance in our experience was in some way the result of my whiteness, it's a little more painful but also more revealing. My white guilt tends to creep up most when I'm forced to reflect on the power I wield. For instance, I will spend weeks mentally reviewing an incident when one of my staff members bears the brunt of my ignorance or proclivity for dominance. I want them to trust me, I want them to like me, and I anger myself when I learn that I may have done something that makes it more difficult for them to do either. Perhaps even more important to our work are times when my power allows me to make decisions that negatively impact students of color. Is this guy Looney Tunes or what?